it is a beautiful day. It's June 3rd around noon and I'd love to share with you the project that we have been working on for uh, several months. It's just been taking forever to get this done and it is finally done. I have a new container garden filled with green stock vertical planters and there are nine of them up here. Before we started the project my husband felt it was important to reinforce the deck so he got a friend who's really good with uh, woodworking and they went underneath the deck, cut some 45 degree angle supports along with um, putting some precision cut wood in between each joist. So we feel like we have a pretty well supported deck here now. So hopefully it will stand the test of time. And then over here, I'll show you guys, I have my little chicken tractor. We have four chickens in there and they have laid all winter long. I was so shocked. Um, we have three whitings, one blue whiting and two green whitings and one cream leg bar. And they have just been laying eggs like crazy. One of the green whitings molted over the uh, winter. So right in the heart of the winter, it was so cold. I don't think we had to bring her indoors because she had no feathers. <laughs> Put her in the garage um, to protect her. But other than that, she stopped laying for one month. But they have just been cranking out the eggs. Now we have another chicken tractor where I had three chickens in that tractor. And I sold those last October. They were two years old. And um, I sold them for $20 each on Craigslist. And they went in no time. Everyone was wanting those chickens. So um, we are considering getting three more chicks. So we like to keep them um, rotating. So they, we will always have a lot of um, chickens and eggs, of course. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you what I have growing over here. Now, last year I had such wonderful luck growing sweet potatoes and six inches of soil in my front square foot garden. So I thought my experiment this year would be to try to grow sweet potatoes in an original green stock planter. This is where the pockets are 10 inches deep. And so I planted the lower three tiers first with some sweet potatoes that I um, sweet potato slips that I grew from sweet potatoes I picked up at the farmers market and then I planted my last two tiers a little bit after that you can see the growth hasn't quite caught up with the bottom three tiers yet so I'll be harvesting these in the fall usually around October maybe September but we'll see and I'll let you guys know how they did I put them on the end because these vines will take over the deck and I don't want them to be in the way of harvesting all the other things I'm growing in the green stock planters. So they'll stay there for now. And then over here I have another green stock planter. This is another original. And in this one there are three tiers. Um, I had just enough potatoes for three tiers. So I have German butterball potatoes in here and Peter Wilcox, which is a purple skinned, yellow fleshed potato. It's wonderful. The potatoes here are now flowering. Okay, so I've grown potatoes in green stocks many times before and they and it does great. They just do real well and so I will expect to harvest these probably in another month or so and then I'll put those three tiers over here with um, these two tiers and I plan to plant cucumbers in there. I like to continually plant cucumbers so that I'll have um, a supply all summer long. I don't do just one planting. I might do one planting every month or every three weeks or something like that. So I'll always have cucumbers. I can eat cucumbers every day in the summer. They're so hydrating and just wonderful. I am also added a little thermometer out here so I could keep track of this um, heat. It gets so much hotter up here. The heat just kind of gets trapped here on the deck and between the house and so it's much warmer here than it is like in my yard. So this will give you guys an idea of how just how warm it gets up here. Right now it's reading around 90 degrees. It's a little bit overcast today. I've got the sun coming in and out. Yesterday it was well over 100 degrees up here. So that just gives you an idea how hot um, I'm growing all of these plants in the temperature. So now on the top of this leaf planter where the pockets are about seven inches tall, um, I have basil growing. I have sweet basil and Thai Siam queen basil. Um, I'm also growing a lot of cucumbers. I just, those are coming up from seed. Just about everything else I planted from seed. Nasturtiums 
the basil I did start indoors and I transplanted it out into this green stock. Now these other three here are peppers. So the first two um, were my best pepper plants so I moved those out into the green stock first. These are the original planters and I'm growing red bells and jalapenos this year with the exception of one other um, specialty pepper I think it's called red rooster um, that's primarily what I'm growing because that's what I use a lot so I decided to just fill it up because last year I experimented with to see you know just how many peppers I could grow in four green stocks which is the bundle and I grew well over a hundred pounds I did a series on that so over a hundred pounds of peppers that yielded about 25 pounds per green stock and I'm sure it depends on what kind of peppers you're growing. Um, so this year I expect to get at least 20 pounds per green stock. So I have two um, there and then this one over here. I also have peppers growing in here, but these were kind of the ones that weren't doing the best as far as the seedlings that I'd started. So I thought, well, I just couldn't bear to throw them out just because they weren't as healthy as the other seedlings. So I'm giving them a chance in this green stock here. We'll see how they do. I'll give them a little bit more TLC. And then down here on the bottom, I have uh, tomato plants. This is how I like to grow tomatoes in the green stock. And this was a volunteer um, from last year. It reseeded in my front square foot garden, so I just dug it up. And I put it down here. I didn't have to start it indoors or anything like that. And I have actually three down here on the bottom. There's another one there. And the way I like to grow tomatoes in the green stock is I'll put one of the plant supports above it. And I'll put another plant support here on the top tier. And then I'll tie a string to both plant supports and then just wrap that little tomato plant, the stem, right around that string as it grows and that up. Gives it the support it needs to keep it off, um, off the deck. Okay, so there's all my peppers. They're doing really, really nice. Now I kept a few containers from my old container garden. I have some rosemary here, which I just moved up into a big pot last week. I picked up this pot at Dollar General. It did not have holes in the bottom, so I just took a screwdriver, and they have a place where it's kind of perforated at the bottom of the pot. Just stuck that screwdriver right through there. You know, you want to make sure you always have good drainage. This rosemary is just beautiful. I overwintered it in my garage um, this past year. Okay, and then this is a Valencia orange tree that I picked up in Florida last year. It has two oranges on it. You can see one of them right there. And this definitely is going to have to go into a little bit of a larger pot. I don't like to go in too much larger of a pot at first until I make sure it's got a really good root system established. And then French tarragon. I have this growing in a lot of different gardens. I just like to keep it going. I'll take cuttings and transplant it into different areas because it's so hard to find and also you can't grow it from seed and I did a whole video on that to show you guys how I like to grow French tarragon wonderful wonderful herb ginger and it's coming back nicely it died back um, when I brought it inside over the winter to protect it and now it's shooting up new sprouts here so that's my ginger and this is really really nice lettuce here French crisp which I grew last year grew this variety and it grew all the way through July so that was wonderful I had lettuce all you know pretty much through I think it may have been the very beginning of July and so you can see it's doing great here now this side of the deck gets the first afternoon shade so it won't experience sun all day long it'll start to get shade here probably with by two o'clock in the afternoon starting to get a little bit of shade and we've been using this of course on hamburgers sandwiches and salads wonderful wonderful heading lettuce but I just pick off the leaves and we just have been really enjoying it and then on the second tier here this again this is the leaf I have some leeks and then scallions on top beautiful scallions this is the perfect size to use them right there that's my favorite time to harvest scallions is when they're at that size so when I pull those out I'll plant something else probably cucumbers <laughs> because like I said I can eat cucumbers all summer long and I have to continually plant them to keep them coming in now on the top here we have radishes okay and then over here I have cucumbers on the second tier this is the leaf I grew beautiful cucumbers and leaf last year big 
European cucumber. So don't limit yourself to going cucumbers just in an original green stock. You can also grow those in the leaf. And I have scallions, and then we have turnip greens and arugula all the way down through here. The turnip greens and the arugula can withstand some of that summer heat. So I'll have some greens to go with my cucumbers. Okay? Now remember, if you are interested in getting one of these vertical planters as well, um, you can use my code, Rainbow Gardens, um, at their website checkout, and you, that code will get you $10 off of a green stock. Okay? Rainbow Gardens. And I'll leave a link to their website down below the video. Now this was my first green stock um, that I ever had. And I, was probably got, I probably got it about four, five, six years ago. I forgot. No, it's been about, about uh, I'd say, six years. And you can see it's still holding up great. I leave it outdoors all the time. I've never emptied it and put it indoors for the winter. I've always just left it outside. Not that I recommend doing that. It's just that I get kind of lazy by the time winter rolls around. <laughs> and so... Anyway, I have some nasturtium planted in here. I planted, again, some more cucumbers, and I have a lot of fennel. I think I sowed some seed for fennel in here and some more sweet basil. I always like to start basil indoors, move those transplants out, and then I also start some basil from seed so that I'll have some fresh basil that I can enjoy as the fall starts to roll in. So I always sprinkle out basil seeds, um, usually in June, okay? So there is my new garden. I'm just so thrilled about it. I'm so glad it's all done. And I'm just looking forward to kicking back, sitting over here, relaxing under maybe the umbrella, and maybe cook out a little bit of fish on the grill, and listen to the water, and watch my plants grow. So hopefully this will be an inspiration to some of you to get out there and start digging in the dirt if you're not already. If you have any questions, please leave them down below the video. I'd be more than happy to help you. And I thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.